M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM ID52. Someone asked me to push all the buttons and uh, just show what it does. You can see I've got my call sign and my image programmed in on the boot up. So let's just get to basics. So at the moment we're in DR mode. DR mode is the way that ICOM have decided to package, let's turn that down, ICOM have decided to package the sort of D star system so you have your selection who you're going to there it says to use reflector and then it says from and that could be a repeater or it could be your hotspot here at home so let's hold down DR and get into normal use so now we're in VFO mode look and just select different bands here you can go VHF UHF and there's a wider selection if you're receiving if you press the quick button here look Go up to the top. I mean, there's so many selections in this radio. You can go band select and let you can choose a different band here. Click enter with the toggle knob here. And we can tune through, or if we've got memories programmed in, we can press MW here. So VFO memory button. Memory mode there. And we've got some memories there. So that's the MR MW tune through and you can name them they can be digital or analog and that looks very nice and receiving these we can we can use our scope if we go menu go back to the main screen go up to scope and select it we've now got a scope and you can use this in vfo or memory mode to come out just push the vfo button now you can see our little gps emblem flashing away there that automatically is on at default, if I remember right, but you can obviously turn it off. Now you have a big menu in settings. Let's just quickly go through. You've got voice, the voice menu here for record, QSO recorder, voice recorder, FM radio, which works well. It's off at the moment. Let's see if we can turn it on. There you go. And it'll I better not put any broadcast radio on, but it does have an FM radio to turn that off quick, normal mode. FM radio off. See the GPS has come on there. Now you can select to add that at the bottom. Uh, so it looks like we've got a lock now. Let's see if we can get some information on GPS. We'll go menu. Across the GPS. GPS information. Look, there's our satellites. That's very nice. Let's go back, position. This is the information that you'll transmit and receive when you're using D-Star as well. And there's lots more. And you can there's settings here to turn it on and off as well. That's your history when you select CD. DV Gateway, this is another learning curve. It's all about terminal mode and access mode. And on the 52, you need a cable to use that, where on the 705, it would actually do it wirelessly. Sending photographs radio to radio, no problem on this. You could send, I could send a photograph right now to my 705 and it would work via D Star. Let's, let's have a look what else we got here. So we've got a, let's go into VFO mode, pressing MR, no VFO at the top here. Now we've got the mode. So look here, it says DV, FM. So digital voice and FM, FM narrow. Let's just try the scan button. We'll just hold it down and we can scan all or we can select what we want to scan. We just go all and it starts to scan and then you push the PTT when that's done. Okay, what else we got here? If we hold down the dual button, we can now be a dual, dual band radio. And the thing about this radio is it does actually receive digital on the A and the B band simultaneously. And I, it's the only D-Star radio that I know that does that. So to go up and down, you can do that. And you can, if you want to go into DR mode, hold down DR, you can do it on the A band. And if we go up and the B band, so we now have DR, A and B. That's a fantastic feature. And it actually works, I've tested it. And then all, to come out of DR mode, just hold it down, hold down the DR button. Now let's try the, the right and left button. So if we look at the power now, hold down this LO button. 
See that? We hold that. We can either turn the channel knob or we can just go up and select. Look how low the power goes, super low. Hold up. Oh, that's for when we're in D-Star. So let's just go back into DR mode. Hold up. And look, you've got your history there and we've actually selected it. So hold it up again. And then we can select whoever we want. Go back. So I think I've gone through every function, I can, every obvious function. On the side, you just take up this tab here. It's a waterproof radio. There you go. It's got your micro USB. I'm pretty sure it's chargeable from that as well. DC in, or you've got a drop-in charger. The battery is your it works with the 705 and the Icon 51. Nice and easy to disconnect. Look at that. Nice and easy. There's your details there. There's the actual battery. And you can buy a super duper battery. A few people making batteries for these now. At the top here. I've got a microphone for this, but it's your microphone connector. As well, and they're a bit closer together on the icon ones. It does have it hold an SD card, which is under here. For programming, you can load up a CSV file with all your repeaters. I've noticed they've they've added a monitor function on the 705, so I think they're gonna end up doing that with the 52 eventually, where it monitors via the internet, but you'd need the cable to do it, but it monitors um repeaters that are internet linked so we'll wait and see if they bring that one out you push the squelch button when you're in dr mode like so you still get the input if we go to vfo mode and if we push it does it also do our squelch let's have a look now we haven't gone into the main menu yet Let's go menu. Now, just so if you're ever programming DR mode memories and you're in DR mode like so, let's go back to single screen. So if you're ever programming that, make sure you come out of DR mode first, then go menu and go across. Keep going. You, you think it's not there and then go one over and look, you've got memory. And this is where you, this is where you add DR memories. Now, I know there's a learning curve to this. And they're all in groups. These are all groups that we've got. We download this file from Icon. But let's, this is the top group local. is a group that I've created for myself for my hotspots look. And then when you... I'm not going to show you the full process now. But to edit and to add, you click quick here. The quick button. And you can edit and add. Okay. It's just, just remember that when you do this, you do need to come out. To, ch to actually make changes, you need to be out of DR mode. And the other thing about DR mode is... If you're using the radio to program extra hotspots, say you've got three hotspots at home, you are going to have to change the, the letter. So I'll just show you, for example, we'll go in DR mode and we'll go to, uh, actually, no, we'll come out of DR mode and then we'll go menu, enter back into that memory, repeat the list. And we'll select one of my hotspots and we'll go push the quick button and we'll go to edit. Now, what you'll find that if they're all, if they're, see it says call sign, because each selection will have to have call sign. If it's M0FXB, space, space, B, but you've got two hotspots at home using the B, it won't go into this radio if they're on different frequencies because it will duplicate. So I put a Q in. So you, you do have to change that letter. It's something worth bearing in mind. So you can see the SD cards flashing there. The battery, I think, are quite good on these. The screen brightness is good. And you can change the color. See if I can remember how to do that. So we'll go back into the settings. I'll just go down all the way through just to show you there's so many settings here. So repeater settings there, duplex tone, scan, scope settings, call sign, which you do need your call sign for D for D Star, my station information. There's me. Using the VFO as a back button, DV set. Now I mean there's so much there. <laughs> Keep going. QSO function display. Let's go to display. Look, you can change the opening message there, look. That's on at the moment. Single band display. This is where you select if you want the date or the GPS information to show. 
language. This was actually a Japanese radio. Background colour, watch this. Background colour, white. And it, I, I like the white. It's not that I don't like the white. It's just I prefer the... Um, I prefer the black, but the white's very nice. Yeah, look at that. And you've got the GPS showing there as well. And we can still go into DR mode. You can set the contrast. So we go menu. So the set menu has got a lot. It's DTMF, TX, QSO log, functions there. Look, look at all the functions we've got here. PTT lot. I mean, when you buy a radio like this, you know, you are buying the best radio, speech. And that's it. I know I've missed loads of many many items here but it's a fantastic radio you are it's state of the art for you know a transceiver five watts it's only five watts but with a with a nice hot spot uh, you can work the world with this radio and it's of course it'll do things like air band marine, receive marine bands and uh, check out all the specifications of it and well done to icon for making such a fantastic radio so i hope this helps give you a general overview of the icon 5273 all the best Please remember to subscribe and like to my channel.